This is the third video on Ansible custom modules. In this video, we'll see how to create Ansible custom module using Python. In the first video, we have seen how to combine the device facts and create a single dictionary. In the second video, we have seen how to create a separate Python script and generate a CSV from that device facts dictionary. This CSV file we have created from the device facts dictionary and here i have installed an extension called edit csv now if i click on edit csv i'll be able to see this in a csv row and column format now we'll create a custom module here here i'll create a directory called library And module name I'll give facts to csv dot py. We'll go to the documentation. If you want, you can add the documentation examples and return values to the custom module. I'll copy this import. paste it here i'll even import csv module because we are going to use csv module for generating the file i'll create a function called main and within that we will create an ansible module instance I will call this module we can give any name here if you look into the example here also they are using module so here they are creating an instance of ansible module within that giving argument spec and passing the module args so here instead of creating a separate variable for module args we'll directly try to pass within this statement we'll try to simplify it I'll open VS Code. Here I'll give Ansible module. Enter. Within our module, we are going to have three arguments. If you see our previous slide, we need device facts, destination CSV file, and destination CSV path. So let us define that. I'll give device facts equal to all these arguments has to be defined using this particular dictionary format and then we need to give type and device facts is going to be a dictionary input then that is going to be a mandatory data in our custom module so i'll give required equal to two. i'll give a comma here and i'll take a copy of this and we have two more arguments one is destination csv path then destination csv file and these are going to be strings i'll give string here and for this we'll give required false and we'll try to set some default values All these you can design based on your requirement and for the file name i'll give a default value facts file dot csv for the directory i'll copy the path default equal to this particular directory We can remove this comma and this data has to be within the argument spec i'll show that in the document this has to be argument spec we have defined only module arcs now 
here what I'll do I'll give argument underscore stack equal to and that is going to be a dictionary and this entire data has to be within that dictionary I hope now this is clear for you how to define argument spec and create an instance of Ansible module now we'll take a look into our previous Python script here we had a variable called device facts now that facts is coming from the module args to define that device equal to so now this is within this module we can use module dot params and you need to give this name this can be a different name these two doesn't have to be same you can give different different names so here we are trying to access this and storing this module arg into device facts now same way we have one more variable if you notice csv file name and that contains directory plus the file name within this script now we need to combine these two destination path and the csv file for that i'll create a new variable here csv file name equal to copy this and we'll create a formatted string here and within that csv path after this path we need to give a slash here i'll copy this for this also we'll give the name csv file so now this csv file name is this complete path of the file now i'll go back to the previous script and from here we can copy this entire logic copy and we will put it under this function so we are defining csv header then opening a file and we are opening this particular file the default file is going to be facts file if user is giving we will consider that if user is not giving it will be taking this file and this location now if you want module to return the data we will take a look into the example module here module dot exit json we will use that in the script in this level we need to give module dot exit json and we can give changed equal to true this is user's choice if you want to always get changed true you can give here or you can even put some condition here here since we are going to update a file always i'm just changing this to true then simply we can give some message here save content to csv we can give any value from here here we are just giving a message to the user save it now we'll try writing the module and here to trigger this particular function we need to give if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equal to underscore underscore main 
this condition will make sure this function will be getting executed like this particular execution will happen only if you are running this file directly if you are importing this this particular section will not get executed for example within this file i'll try to simply print underscore underscore name save it we'll run it and since we are going to run this directly it will be giving main but if we try to import this file and run it that time we'll be getting this particular file name or the module name in that file if i create another file and import csv and if we run it it will be printing create csv so that is a difference while using this so now this line will get executed only if you are running this script directly now we'll write the task for the custom module i'll go to the task here i'll call this max to csv task and the file name is max to csv and we have three arguments device facts and we need to pass this particular dictionary and if you don't pass these two arguments it will be taking the default location save it before running the script we'll verify the custom module once again here we were using sorted device facts but we don't have that variable defined here what we can do i'll go to the python script copy this we'll put it here so first we are creating an instance of ansible module then passing the argument fix sorting that dictionary so it should be after this let me copy this and paste it here save it then we have csv header and this variable is not needed now i'll delete it because we are going to take it from here save it we'll try running the module ansible playbook 21 and zero one. So here we can see the changed status is true because we have added that in the custom module, like changed true. And here we have a new file. The previous default file name was facts file i'll open that and here also we are getting the csv data you click on edit csv we are getting it in this format so now this is gathering the device facts and running it within this script we can even give run once through save it in this way we can create custom module using python i'll quickly summarize this First, we have imported Ansible module, then created an instance of Ansible module. There, we have passed argument spec. Within that, we are passing all the custom module arguments and defining type. If it is required, we'll give true. And if it is an optional value, we'll give false. And we can give the default value for that. Then we just create the variable from the module params. Then We'll just process the data then just return it here we were not storing this into a variable and printing it if we try to store this and print it you will be getting this in the 
response that we'll see in the next tutorial in the next tutorial we'll see how to handle even the exceptions within custom module